This is the stunning scene of the 2018 World Float Fishing Championships. We're in Portugal on the famous Montemor rowing course where 22 of the best teams in the world will be battling it out. In 2006, when Team England were last here, we took home the gold and also our very own Sean Ashby had an individual bronze. Let's just hope lightning can strike twice. This is the final day of official practice. England have some history here, so fingers crossed it'll all go well for England this year. We just grabbed England manager Mark Downs. Mark, just give us a quick rundown. How's this week gone for you? Um, it's been quite difficult, really. We started um, started tough, and, and then we had one good day on the Thursday, and today it's tough again. The problem with the venue is that uh, there are certain areas that got more catfish, um, but. The good teams are still catching enough catfish to catch a decent weight for decent points, even on the bad areas, and that's something we're working on at the moment. Just quickly, what are the species? Because it's not like the UK where you're fishing for roach, skimmers, F1s. It's totally different over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's everything we don't catch. I mean, basically, we're fishing for catfish and mullet, and that's the only two species that have been caught this way. There are some sun perch down the side. Possibly get half a kilo, 700 grams if you're lucky, with plenty of weed cover. Fish two lines. You can put a few fish in a net there. But we're fishing for catfish, and we're fishing for mullet. And generally speaking, there's two methods. You're fishing slider, 30 to 40 metres, and you're fishing... Um, 13 metres uh, on, the, on the pole. So those are just two species, just a matter of getting the feed right and the ground bait right for the best way of catching them. It's been difficult. We're fishing for an alien species here. We're fishing for catfish and mullet. We don't have those in England at all. So it's a, it's a learning curve for all of us. We haven't had a particularly good rotation on the section boxes we've had this week. Some teams have drawn brilliantly and caught fish every day. We've had a couple of good days and a couple of like not so good days. I would say France, Italy, Hungary will be really dangerous in this match. They fish for these species all the time and uh, they've been doing well during the week on, on some days. We've just grabbed Team Wales manager Andy Johnson. I know you're not going to tell us too much about tactics, but how's your week been going, Andy? It's been reasonable. We've had a couple of good days, been in areas where there's fish and had weights averaging five and six kilos. Um, a couple of other days it's been more difficult. So it seems like there's areas where there's pockets of fish. And when you're on them, they're not that difficult to catch, to be fair. It's, it's going to be about that draw tomorrow, isn't it? It's going to be vital, probably like all World Championships. Yeah, but maybe more so in this one because there's pockets of fish. You can be the wrong end of a, of a section and it can be dire. You can be the right end and irrespective of what country you're from, they're not hard to catch. There's a couple of lines, you're fishing 30 metre pole predominantly and you're fishing a slider line. Well, I'm sat here with Steve now. We've just came into the shade because uh, it's scorching hot here. We're into the last few minutes of the final practice. How's it gone, Steve? It's been very difficult, Dan, really difficult. We've had a half reasonable day at one end of the box. The bottom end of the box has been almost impossible to catch a fish. But to be fair, the Italians have had exactly the same on their box. So we've got hope. Walking up and down, we, we, we've seen it's been patchy. There's been some really good anglers not catch and there's been you know, other teams that you probably didn't expect have had some real real good fishing. So uh, we know now you've got a, a team meeting uh, and you're going to talk tactics and get things sorted and we'll catch up with you guys later.
Well, with Will Raisin, how's it been, Will? Very difficult, mate. The team to our right have caught quite well, probably between two and four kilo. Our top weight, I think, was about one kilo, 700. It is very difficult for us. Obviously, the main uh, species in the rowing course is catfish, and it's just a species that we don't fish a lot for. Um, you can understand it. It's, it's a bit like when the Portuguese or the Spanish come to a hard canal like in Poland when we won fishing joker off the bottom. They just didn't know what you were doing. And finding ourselves a little bit in a... a unknown territory for the England team really because you know apart from when we go abroad and fish events we don't really catch catfish so it's been very difficult the only thing I can say is when we've been like on an end box you know we've caught good weights and caught fish so I don't think it's a problem if we can get near fish um, we're having a little bit of a tweak of tactics obviously it's the last day a little bit of a change on distance as far as the slider fishing is concerned um, because there has been, you know, a, a predominant line where people have been fishing, so we're going to target that instead of trying to go past. Well, just with Dad's ship now, I know you're packing up, mate, but last day of practice, yeah. how's it gone for you, bud? Uh, it's been difficult, Dan. I've had, it's been difficult for everybody. Everybody's caught some fish, and we've had days where we've caught nothing, I and mean, this is the worst day I've had today. It's been, you know, really difficult. Um, just couldn't make nothing happen. I've lost a great big mullet. I expect you were laughing at that when that come off. Well, I did have a little chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> it did come out of the water like a dolphin. It's probably two kilo. I mean, if you get a fish like that tomorrow or Sunday, it's going to be mega. Um, it's just a difficult one, Dan. I just can't... It's probably the the, more, well, the most annoying venue I've ever fished, to be honest. I mean, we don't fish for catfish that much, obviously. You know, even, even when we come away, it's not one of the species we catch every time we go abroad into Europe. But normally, we catfish, they, they come to the bait. Through the day, we've seen some really strange species of fish. So we've got, after the weigh-in, a couple in the bucket, and Steve's going to go through with what he's been catching. Right, what we've got in it is the catfish you've got to be careful with them because they will <laughs> spine you if i can get them out of the bucket oh. right obviously we don't catch these in england ugly creatures and they've got some spines on them which if they'll cut you and they'll put some poison in you which makes you tingle a bit but that's one of the main species we've been you know yesterday i caught six kilo of these about 50 of them so that's one of the main species to build your weight there's the mullet, which we haven't got here at the minute because we've not caught any today. And then one of the other things we've been catching is another species not native to us. Don't grow much bigger than that. That's a sun perch. And we've been catching them down the edge, but they're not really a, a big weight build. It's just something that might add a, a few, few grams here and there onto a total if you're in an hard bit. But if we're in a good bit, we'll not be even be fishing for these just goes to show how different it is to the UK fishing and a lot of the, the European teams here this is what they fish for regular where the England team it's, it's totally alien to you isn't it? Fish for them once in a, once in a blue moon any, any time we come to a hot country these are a couple of the main species we fish for but anywhere northern Europe they don't exist. Right that's gave an insight of what they're going to be targeting best of luck tomorrow mate. Well, the last day of official practice is now over and Mark Downs has named his five for tomorrow. The team consists of Alan Scott Thorne, Steve Hemingway, Will Raisin, Des Ship and Sean Ashby. Reserved for tomorrow is Matt Godfrey. He's had a great week's practice, but it's a very challenging venue and Mark's opted for a more experienced side. This is it, this is the first day of the World Championships. We're at the top of the rowing course. The England team have done the draw. Now all the anglers have been allowed into their zones with a two hour period to prepare with a 10 minute pre-baiting period. We're gonna go along and catch up with some other members of the team now.
here with superstar Matt Godfrey. And Matt, your bank running for Will today. Uh, can you just go through the team draw? What you feel? What's your feelings on it? I think we've got quite a good one, mate, to be fair. These fish that we're fishing for, our catfish, seem to be in like little areas of the match length. And the five anglers that are fishing are all in a little area where there's been a few caught in the last couple of days. So, fingers crossed, they'll go in, get a few bites and we'll be away. Yeah, I suppose like today is important just to be in contention. I say it every year, but be in contention today and the big day obviously follows tomorrow. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, all will go well. And we'll keep uh, we'll keep bothering you through the day, and you'll do some more updates for us. I hope. No problem, mate. Hopefully, some uh, good ones when we're sacking up. Just grabbing five minutes with Steve Saunders. Just spoke to Matt Godfrey, and he, you know, he's quite confident we've got a reasonable set of pegs. Can we just go through them with you? Yeah, first day, not too bad. A1, Steve Emigro, expect a really good result from that end. Uh, Sean Ashby, not so good. He's very close to where we were yesterday and the, the section gets better to his right. But still, the fish move around, so he could have a good day. Uh, Williams... C19. C19, which is... The problem there is there's a split between B and C. So Williams got M pegs, an M peg in his section, and it's slightly better the other end, but it's... It'll still be all right. It's not been a bad area. Des is on, on D12. Again, right in the middle. Not a bad area. Should mm -hmm. be okay. And Alan's not as good as the M pegs, but another reasonable peg. So for the first day, not too bad of pegs. You're quite happy. Quite happy, but, you know, there's two days, so we may get better pegs tomorrow. Just pulled uh, Gavin to one side, one of uh, Alan's Barnsley teammates. Uh, how's the first hour been going, Gavin? It's starting to pick up a bit, to be honest. First 15 minutes were a bit, a bit slow, but top end at section. Obviously, it's all going to be best, but into going towards weight gap is on end at end at rowing course. But things are looking a bit better now, so can't really moan. Just plug away, steady away. We've seen uh, at the end of the section, Thomas Walters. So. Uh, Part of the hungry area team, he's catching. I think he's on about 12 or 13 fish. Alan's got about six or seven. So, yeah, the thing is, at the end of the day, the catfish they're in little pockets, they'll move around from peg to peg. He could stop catching, and someone to the side of him could start catching. It's just out fish are and out venue is. We're an hour and a half into the match, and at the moment some mixed reports. I'm just going to run through some sections. Steve Hemingway in A section, um, he's doing well, he's leading that section. We think he's about three fish in front of the next competitor. Uh, B section, Sean Ashby, I think he's about halfway, he's got seven catfish. Uh, he's doing well from that area, uh, but it's tight, you know, every fish counts. Going to C section. Will's not in the best part of that section, but the, the sort of mini zone he's in, he, he's winning, he's doing well. Uh, he's well up there. Come into D section with Des Ships just behind us. Um, he had a slow start. When we got here about 20 minutes ago, he had two fish. He's up to seven or eight now, so he's catching well. He has lost a good fish, but then he's gone straight back in and carried on catching. So good signs there. Uh, e section. Um, Alan never caught for the first 15 minutes where other people did around him, but now his peg seems to be getting stronger. Um, it is a tactical game, you know, the England team have fed it different to the other teams, but it seems like we're getting stronger as the match is going. It's all positive stuff at the moment. We're with Ian Pauley now, and he's bank running for Des Ship. Des is just behind us now. Ian, what's involved in your bank running duties? Well, today, what I'm doing for Des is basically going up and down the section. Um, 
most most of the anglers are fishing the waggler, so we're checking to see what bait they're using, mm. uh, relaying it back to uh, the England management so they can relay it to Des, and also uh, check the amount of fish which is being caught in the sector, so okay. we can relay that back as well. And that's what you've got on your bit of paper there? Yeah, yeah we get a piece of paper which they do an hourly fish count, so you write down the hourly fish count and then re report that back to uh, to the management and they... they uh, to disperse it out how they were like. Sure, how's Des getting on now then? Just have a look. Des is, is quite down on the section, but he's, he's actually had a good half an hour mm. of the second hour, so he's mm. catching up slightly. I mean, a bit unfortunate, he lost a very big mullet just a minute ago. Yeah, we see which that. Which would have pushed him right up in the section. Okay, and we'll leave you to your, uh, okay. your duties. Thank Cheers. you for that, mate. Cheers. Thanks. Well, nearly two hours into the match now, and it's looking like England are middle of the road. We've got a couple of good uns, and the other three lads are struggling a little bit, but holding their own, keeping that halfway stage. So, good second half of the match, and them that are in the middle, pump up. It's looking good, but anything could happen. It's match fishing, world championships, and there's still time to go, so we'll see. had a good start he's had 30, more than 30 catfish in the first two hours it went a bit iffy because mullet moved into his peg so he caught two mullet one of a kilo plus one about 500 grams it's been really difficult though for the last hour there's people with zero fish in the section Steve has caught he's had a spell where he's caught some sun perch and now he's gone back out on the pole to catch a few more catfish he's in pole position at the moment and Unless somebody catches some big mullet, I, I don't think he will be beaten. So let's keep our fingers crossed for Steve. Well, it was about 23, 24 minutes to go now, and it, it's been an up, upside down match, really. Areas that we didn't think we'll catch are catching lots of fish. For example, where we fished yesterday, it was barren, and they're catching 30 and 40 catfish today. And where we thought we might be okay, we're on the edge of them on, on two or three sections. So I think Hungary are doing well. I know Belgium are doing well. Um, Italy have got two bad ones, two good results, so although we're not, I'm sure we're not in the top three at the moment, I think we've got a good chance of not being too far down and pulling that back tomorrow with a bit more knowledge. Will is struggling a bit at the moment, he's probably only beating five or six. Sean could be 10th, 11th, but hopefully we've got two good results in Steve, who's winning his section off the end peg on A1, and we've got a good result off Alan, hopefully he'll be 5th or 6th um, off the lower section. Des has been dead unlucky, he's lost two big mullets, sorry, one big mullet, um, but he has got a mullet of a kilo, which will push him up four or five points, so we're looking for a, a top seven or eight score with, um, with, with Des. So if we can come back with 30, 33 points on day one, maybe 35, we've got a chance of a podium if we have a good result on day two. It's all to fish for. Down in uh, A section with Darren Frost, uh, we've got four reasonable results. I think fourth, sixth, uh, fifth and third in the other sections. Darren's probably around about 15 or 16th. Um, he's lost four mullet and he's lost of seven or eight other cats in the weed. It's a really weedy peg. He's had some really large mullet on and unfortunately they've all come off. So we could really do with Frosty just catching something of any size now and we'll be maybe in the mix tomorrow. We're at the end of day one. Uh, we're with Steve Hemingway and he's won his section. How do you feel, Steve? Uh, elated. It's been I've, I've been a bit fortunate. I've drew A1 and peg, but you know you can do no more than win your section. I've had a nice day. I've caught about 40 catfish, two mullet, and a few sun perch to just edge the section bot from the German. It's been tight, hasn't it? It's it been... has been tight. I think I beat him by about 300 grams, so not a lot. I needed everything. I, I caught today. You caught some sun perch. I see when I came behind down the edge, and that's probably yeah. made the difference. Yeah, it has. That's right. I mean, with about an hour to go, it had all gone a bit dead for me. I'd had, you know, probably nigh on 40 catfish, and I'd had me two mullet. I'm getting a few indications still, but there were mullet in my peg, and I couldn't catch one. So I thought I'll just feed it and leave it for a while while I uh, get a few sun perch. I probably had a dozen or 15 sun perch in 10 minutes. And that's been the difference. So, 
you know, it was worth it. So what's it now for you? Back to the hotel room? Yeah, and back to the hotel room and uh, tie a few hooks, sort of elastics out, ready for tomorrow. Your travelling partner's done well, hasn't he? I yeah. see he's uh, he stood up to the challenge. Alan's won his section as well today. Uh, I don't know where the team's lying at the moment, but um, hopefully we're not too far adrift. Well, best of luck for tomorrow, and I'll let you get on and get your gear sorted. Cheers, Dan. Cheers, mate. Ta-da. Well, it hasn't been a bad day, really, to be honest. I mean, we've ended up with two section wins, which is great. I mean, uh, we drew peg one, which we expected a good good position, but to win, he's done the job perfectly. Alan, down the bottom, and he's had the best weight he's had all week. He's done a fantastic performance. Another section win. Um, and then we've had um, a ninth and 11th and an 18th. You cannot foresee William finishing 18th. That is a very nature of the venue. And I tell you what, we could have two anglers or three anglers do that tomorrow. That is what happens. Um, but we're in, in a reasonable position. We're lying fifth with 40 points. Um, we need to score low tomorrow. We need to score 18 to 24 to podium, in my opinion. And we've got to score 16 to 18 to, you know, to get a chance of winning. So we'll go away, we'll rethink what we've done and hopefully we'll put a little bit of a strategy together that can uh, get us low points and get on that podium. Well, the official results have just came in and it's tight at the top with Hungary on 22 points, leading the pack, followed by Germany with 25, Italy 27, Belgium with 33 and England line fifth with 40 points. Top five finish, great result. We've also got two individual section winners, so there's a chance of an individual medal also, all to play for tomorrow. Well, day two of the uh, World Champs today, and uh, as you can see, it's a bit misty. Um, it's going to warm up later today, and evidently there's going to be no wind, so it might fish a little bit different. Uh, the draw has not been that kind to us on yesterday's results, however we can't take that into consideration because every day the fish have moved. Um, we've got A4, we can't have an end peg today because we had an end peg yesterday, so what basically we've got three and four from an end. We've got A4 which wasn't great yesterday but as he says the fish can move. Um, and, 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 and William has gone and drew exactly the same peg, he finished 18th off yesterday. Um, good news and bad news, the good news is that the fish could be there today because every day after the, an area hasn't fished the fish have turned up. The bad news is that the Belgians on paper have got some great pegs and so have the Hungarians. Italy are in a right state, they reckon their draw is catastrophic but um, there again fish move. So it's not great on the, on the numbers front but at the end of the day the fish are going to move, areas are going to be different and we're still in with a bit of a chance. James, we're in Allen's section, they're just doing the bait checks. Uh, just tell us a bit about his section, mate, because it looks really tough. Yeah, he's drawn in the A section today. Um, Steve Emingray was on A1 yesterday. Alan's drawn A4. It was a difficult area from yesterday, but that doesn't mean nothing on this place because the fish move, anything can happen. But he's got some very good anglers in his section. He's got Thomas next to him, Finney from Italia. They've got other, other good anglers further up the section. He's definitely got his work cut out, but I think he'll be all right. We've got the... The, the Belgium angler, he won his section yesterday as well, so he's fighting for an individual gold, as well as Alan. So, uh, fingers crossed, yeah. it's going to be a, a tight match and quite nail-biting to watch and use his bank runner. What's your duties going to be today? So, I'll, I'll have to obviously look up and down the section, see what's going on, obviously, because if Alan needs to make decisions to fish for what fish and stuff like that, he needs to be aware of what's going on in the section. He doesn't want to make a wrong decision at, at the wrong time. But hopefully I'll be able to see what's going on and hopefully direct him. It's, it's all down to him really, but hopefully he'll get that bit of luck and catch a few better fish or the catfish will play ball. But in his area yesterday, it was very tough for catfish. Um, the end peg caught him, obviously Steve. And then there was a bit of a spell where there wasn't many. And then further up where the Belgian stuff is, they caught catfish yesterday. So looking at yesterday, he's going to have to fish for a bit better stamp fish, but you never know because the fish do move on here. We're with Andy Johnson, Team Wales manager. How's your draw been today, mate? Well, on paper from yesterday, four of the sections, yesterday the anglers finished in the top sort of three or four. So if I could take those results right now, I'd take them. The other section, D section, where Lee Edwards is, he's drawn so-so, but Lee's competent and he could make anything happen. So... On paper, we could do reasonably well today, but the fish swim. There's four points in between England and Wales, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. They're on 40, we're on 44. So there's a bit of rivalry today, mate. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to uh, 
beat our neighbours. Huh. Well, best of luck to you, and it's your last World Championships, isn't it, today? Yeah, it is. I've, I've fished for nine years, managed for six years, but it's time to put the, uh, the rods up, put the trainers up, and just move on to brighter and better things. Well, best of luck. Well, I hope we have one point more than you, mate. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. One thing that is different at a World Championships to normal matches in England is that bait has to be measured very accurately according to the rules. So as you can see here, we've got two and a half litres of live bait that's allowed. There's a limit of half a litre of joker, half a litre of worms and 20 litres of ground bait. But it's all in official measures, official tubs to make competitors bait as even as possible on the whole match. I'm here with Eric, and Eric's on the technical committee for FIPS. Now, Eric, something's just gone off up there that looked pretty serious. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, just before I came out of the meeting this morning, I was uh, instructed that when I do the bait checks to, to, to tip all the, the joker out on paper because information had come, come through to us late yesterday that that they thought that people were in, introducing uh, a bloodworm as well, what is not allowed. And, uh, and of course, I've done it all the way through. I've come to peg 20, op opened the box, uh, I've gone to have a look, and lo and behold, he's, he's got a uh, bloodworm there to go in there, you know, all, already in the box, what is not allowed. And uh, it's very rare that I've, I've ever given a, a yellow card out, but I'm... Unfortunately, at this at this stage, I have told them, I've given them the warning, I've I've taken the name and everything. Now it'll go back to the jury, what I am a member of, straight after the match. Now, it's possibility of a yellow card. The yellow card lasts for three years. It'll it'll stay with him for three years if he if he competes, and also there's a possibility of a point deducted. So really, like it's 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 quite a serious offence. Mega uh, serious stuff. Well, Will Raisin, C19, familiar peg for you, mate. Yeah, same peg as yesterday. Um, obviously had a, a you know 18th in the section yesterday. It's the wrong end of the section. C1's an end peg, a proper end peg, got loads of room. And there just seemed to be more fish, especially on the pole. As you come up, I had one bite on the pole yesterday. So you know, from a team point of view, I don't think it's a good. A, a good draw but it's a different day um, got to take it on the chin really there's not a lot else I can do um, just fish the match again we've got a little bit of a different plan hopefully we put a few fish together um, got a chance of a team medal and obviously Steve and Alan have got a fantastic chance of an individual medal so fingers crossed something comes out of the day mate fishing you never know that's it good luck captain cheers mate Today I'm with Steve Emingray in D section on the, the second day of the World Championships. He's drawn D17, which is a reasonable a area. It was just off the fish uh, if we look at yesterday's results. But the good thing about D section is there's no end pegs. Uh, it's uh, fish straight through, so he does have a good chance. Uh, he's, he's next to the French team today, but I really fancy Steve to do well.
it's uh, an hour in and um, it's going well in three sections and quite poor in two sections. Uh, William, believe it or not, he was 18th off the peg yesterday, he's through the same peg today, he's now leading the section with at least seven fish clear of anybody else. That's just the nature of the venue. Sean, we got struggling in exactly the same area yesterday that really struggled. So is the Italian, so is the Polish lad on the other side. They'll probably last three or four in their sections. And to cap it all, we've got Alan on peg four, I think. Yeah, peg four, which was not great yesterday anyway, but at the moment he hasn't caught. But there's a possibility of some big fish up there. There's already a barbel caught and there's some mullet being caught. And our plan B is to try and catch some mullet late in the match. So Des is doing OK, Steve's doing OK. Um, Will's doing okay, we've got two at the top end struggling so we might need some big fish up here. Steve, uh, England have history here, just tell us a little bit about the history with the venue. Well 12 years ago there was a World Championship here, I personally didn't come and England won the World Championship here. But the venue has changed completely, there is now a lot of catfish in the venue whereas before it was just mullet and sunfish. What's been incredible this week during training, three times we've gone to boxes where they've caught five, six, seven kilos the day before and we've caught under a kilo. Between, you know, between six of us, we've caught like 300 grams, 300 grams, 400 grams, a kilo. But the next day, they've caught like three, four, five kilos, and we felt we were doing something wrong. But basically, what's happening, where the fish are when the fishermen start fishing, they stay because you start feeding. And then when the, manage, when the match is finished or the practice is finished, the fish eat everything that's there and then move on to the boxes that have been fed where they've caught nothing, and they're there the next day. OK, that's why every day it's just so different. It's different every day. William's drawn the same peg today. Yesterday he caught two kilos and came 18th in his section. At this present time, he's probably third or fourth in that section with 25, 26 mm. fish. The fish have moved there overnight. I think it goes to show, with this venue, we just don't know what's going to happen. We've got a few hours left of the second day and... Anything could happen, mate, well, can it? At the moment, we're, uh, we've got three really good results in sections, probably three in the top four or five in the section. We've got uh, Alan down the bottom who's struggling, who's starting to catch old catfish, and Sean Ashby on B section who's got seven or eight catfish, but Sean needs to catch a mullet. And we, we do know how to catch the mullet on this venue, so we're hoping in the last two hours they're going to feed and we're going to nick a mullet and change the match completely. Well, I hope you're right, mate, and I hope it all goes well. we let you get back to Des now, buddy. Thanks, mate. Here now with some England supporters. So tell us, how long have you guys been coming for? Um, this is my 12th um, championships I've come, Europeans and World Champs. So but yeah, about sort of 10 to 12 years. I know you're, uh, you live at, close to Des Ship, so you're good for, you're friends with his and you do some bank running for him as well, is that correct? Yep. Yeah, we're doing a bit of bank running for him today. Um, it's a bit of a long section, 22, uh, 22 teams, so uh, we help Steve Saunders out and uh, do a bit of bank running. You've all been having a good time, yeah? A few late nights? Um, we've yeah. been doing a little bit of uh, taste, tasting of the uh, local port, yeah, you could say that. Well, we'll let you get back to seeing Des, but I hope you guys have a great time. Lovely. Thanks, cheers. Thanks Thank you. Thank you. We're two and a half in to day two of the World Championships. Just want to give you a quick rundown on how Team England's getting on. Alan Scott Thorne in A section. Um, he's struggling at the moment. He's next to Thomas Walters from Hungary and they're both having a bit of a battle but they're not catching many fish. We're thinking he's about 12th, 14th in that section. Moving to Sean Ashby in B section. Again, struggling, it's tight. He's where he was yesterday, that section was tough. But the good news is Will Raisin where he was yesterday, you know he's doing well, he's top four. I uh, think he's slowing down a little bit and the French are catching catching up, but he's there or thereabouts and, you know, it keeps changing, but you've got top four. Steve Hemingway, we think he's third, fourth at worst, uh, 20 fish first hour, 20 fish second hour, um, and he's going, he's catching steady. So hopefully, fingers crossed for him, he's got a massive chance of a medal. Moving to the last section, we've got Des Ship, we're, we're with him now, um, and we think he's top four, top five, catching steady. It is slowing down through the day, but it's mixed results, but it's the same for all the teams. It's slowed down this last 45 minutes, but Steve is still putting uh, catfish in the net when most people who are close to him are going backwards. Uh, we're hoping we can maintain this uh, catch rate for a while longer. I don't think it will last till the end of the match. We might have to look for a mullet later. Uh, but at the moment he's doing really well. He's fishing the waggler, uh, the sliding waggler, 15 gram at 30 metres, feeding balls of ground bait every cast. I'm with James from Team Wales. How's the boys getting on, mate? Um, mixed results, really. We've got um, 
Ben down in A section. He hooked a two kilo mullet really early. So he's he's pretty much up there in the section. I know there's a Portuguese guy who's had uh, two barbel. So he's probably dropped down to like third, maybe fourth. Darren, I haven't heard a lot about. I know he's catching, I know he's keeping up with the pace. So fingers crossed for him. Uh, Ian Leach in C section, you know, he's struggling. He, we're down with him. Um, so he's he's like having a bit of a gamble now in the last 15 minutes or so. Lee has just, uh, he's had a two pound mullet followed by a seven pound carp. And uh, yeah, to be fair, I was on Facebook Live at the time and I've kind of run in at, at the back, <laughs> celebrated a bit too much, I think. But he's he's happy boy. 20 minutes remaining of the World Tramps on the last day. And as always, it's turned out very exciting. A lot of big fish feeding now. A lot of teams gambling and fishing for big fish. One of them anglers is Will Raisin from Drennan Team England. He's caught two big mullet and two or three big catfish on the pole and gone from sort of seventh or eighth in the section. Could be first, could be fourth or fifth, we don't know. But 15 minutes, 20 minutes to go. Still chance for a bite, some more big fish. It's looking good for Will. The team, not so great. Um, Alan down in A section, struggling. Some big fish being caught around him, but he hadn't had one yet. And then Sean Ashby in B section. Again, really hard area, but odd big fish. Still time, things could change, so fingers crossed for the boys. Well, that's it, the end of the 2018 World Championships here in Portugal. I've got dad and lad, John and Will Raisin. John, you've watched Will for two days. What do you make of this year's World Champs? Difficult, difficult, looking for bites, pockets of fish. The end of this section where Will's been both days, top end of the section, the catfish were much bigger than the bottom end. Yeah, yeah. And just a matter of catching what you can. Definitely, definitely. One thing that struck me, Will, was that exciting middle part of the match for you where you made a change onto your pole. Tell them what happened. Yeah, we spoke about it at the meeting last night. Obviously, we were behind, so we had to try and win some sections, you know, to get on the podium, which, unfortunately, we haven't done. But, you know, I caught a couple of big mullet. Um, it was looking good, and then the last hour, I caught a, a half-decent Xander, and then it just went. I missed two indications right at the end, but it's been really, really difficult that last hour. No one's really caught a lot, but, you know... The, the section's not been fair either day, really, but, you know, when you look at the teams that have done well, you know, they've, they've obviously have something a little bit sorted, you know, but, yeah, you know, yeah. we're just at a little bit of a disadvantage to the fact that in England we don't fish for these small catfish. No, completely alien species. Mm. Tell you what, it's too warm for gingers. Let's go and get a beer. Radio. Well, Des, it's the end of day two. It What's your thoughts, tough. mate? Well, it's been tough, obviously, you know, you know that. You've been walking about all day. Um, I've had a good two hours. When I got to be pegged this morning, I was sat in my van waiting for, to, you know, waiting for the whistle to go into the box. And I'm like, what's all that weed doing? And I've got weed at 13 metres and I've also got weed at 25 metres. So it's been difficult about a fish, a wagger on the, the side of the weed, but I have caught some catfish. It was going all right, to be honest. And then it's just faded away, you know, and obviously the team have, you know, not been brilliant today again, really. Um, because we had a chance, I think, but we needed some, you know, we all need to be in the top five or six, really, to be honest. We, need, we needed 20 points today. Um, but it's been it's been tough, Dan. You know, it's catfish. It's been most 90% catfish caught. We don't we don't fish for catfish. Um, but it's been real patchy. There's been areas, you'll see from the, the sheets, you know, there's lots of catfish in one area. I mean, Will, Will proves the point today. Yesterday he's struggled for a bite, and today he's, I think he's come forth in this section. Yeah, this, from this yeah, yes. What, what has been your tactics? Because we haven't really asked the team, but now it's all over. But what was your, what was your plan today? Well, plan of action both days really was, there's been a lot, a lot of fish caught on the waggler, which you've obviously seen yeah. yourselves. Uh, slider, you know, 10, 12 gram sliders. Um, put in probably four, four litres of ground bait in with chop worm, white maggots, a few dead pinkies and some joker. Don't know if a joker made that much difference, to be honest, on the wag. On the pole, we fed five, uh, four litres of ground bait soft, 
at 13 meters and we cut some just a liter which was about five balls in pretty rich with joker chop worming and maggots again and we've been topping the long line up just with soil because we have caught some mud i think will's had two today i had one yesterday uh alan had three yesterday steve i think steve had two so that was we had that right it was just this this catfish we just couldn't whether we've whether we've not got it right or whether we've just not sat in the areas the, sort of the epicenter if you like of catfish we don't know and you know they've obviously you know when you've done the um the bait checks yesterday morning a lot of the teams have got prawns yeah what's I mean, all that about well, i normally have them in sandwiches <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know it's not the sort of thing we do is it you know we yeah. it's sort of sea fishing stuff if you like yeah. it's been it seems it's been slightly alien to the england team all yeah week. i think you know, you take her out of you know, the teams that have done really well, but I think I've, I've heard a rumour that Italy have scored 50 odd points today. Well, I've heard the well down, I've heard Germany have won yeah. it, but that's not official. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll let you carry on packing up right, and we'll see you at the presentation. Right, Dan, well done, Des. Cheers, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Day two results have just came in, and it's not the result we wanted for Team England. England have ended up six in the World Championships with 94 points. Will Raisin's drawn the same peg as he did yesterday, where he was 18th in his section, and he's been top point scorer today with four points. But congratulations to Germany. It's the first time they've won the World Championships. Hungary second, Belgium a third. Going to the individual result, Johannes from Germany is now the 2018 World Champion and congratulations to him, he's had an excellent two days with a first and a second and on this venue, great credit to him because that's a fantastic performance. Top point scorer for Team England was world number one, ever consistent Steve Hemingway. He had a first in his section first day but slipped down to ninth second day, so well done to him also. We're here in Portugal, we've finished sixth in the World Championships. I mean, sixth for England is, is not, not the best result, to be honest. You know, it, we, we thought we'd probably do a little bit better than that and probably get on the podium. I mean, last time we fished on this rowing course, um, we won a gold medal fishing for mullet. This time it's been totally different and it's been very, very difficult for us as a team because we'd, we knew how to catch the mullet, but as soon as you put catfish into the mix also, there's two really different ways to feed. And this has been one problem. When we started at the beginning of the week, we, we really were not just feeding enough bait to catch the catfish because all the time in his heads we were thinking we were killing it to try and catch the mullet. We've not had a very, very good practice. We've had it real difficult. When you think on the first day, we really struggled to catch anything at all. And that just leaves us then with four days practice. Now, when you think the next day, we caught a few fish, but not a lot. I think, you know, it was still, still quite difficult. You're then down to three days to learn how to catch fish that we never catch in England. So it, it becomes very, very difficult. Now, We've had one good day's practice where we drew at the top end and we caught quite a lot of fish. I mean, we had the top weight of, of two, with two, six kilos, there were a five kilo, and we learnt a little bit that day, but not enough to give us a chance really to win a medal. Very, very difficult. The problem when you go to what countries is you need to feed a lot and, and really it's not in our nature to feed like that. I mean a 17 litre bucket of ground bait, well a 20 litre bucket of ground bait, it's not a normal thing for us to do to feed that much bait. And the Germans have won this and I think what they've done, they've attacked it from the off. They've put a lot of bait in at the start, maybe 10 litres of ground bait at the start with quite a bit of bait in and they've dominated the area that they're in. I think, you know, the, I'm not saying that have won it off the pegs that we drew, but I think that have still got a medal off the pegs that we drew by fishing how they do. But it's, it's not really a coincidence, it's what the Germans do. When they fish in Germany, they fish on big, big waters, they put a lot of bait, and they're used to fishing like that. And all right, we've, we've won a couple of sections. I mean, I won a section on the first day, Steve won his section, and it looked like that, you know, the other lads had probably not drawn quite as well. Now, we changed tactics a little bit overnight, decided to feed more bait. William actually drew the same peg as what he'd been on the day before and, and came forth in his section with the, you know, the day before he were 18th. I think we've just fell foul of not attacking it quite enough. But 
you know, when I said that in practice, on even on, I think on the Thursday, we sat there for two hours and never had a fish between us on the pole. So, it, you know, it, it's not, it's not cut and dried how you finish up fishing for the weekend when you're struggling to catch fish all the time. But it's been a very, very good competition. Sixth, all right, it's not the best result for us, but we're still up there. We're not, you know, down the field. And I think, you know, we've got to be reasonably proud of ourselves that we've still done quite well in, in difficult circumstances, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the award winning giving ceremony of the 65th Course Angling World Championship Formation. And with one of the German team, Johannes, what, what were your tactics today, Johannes, for, for to win the gold medal? So um, I tried to, to throw 20 balls on... You threw by hand 20 yes, balls? Yes, I threw right. by hand, very big ones yeah. at the match rod. So my cutter bolt uh, was not strong enough to, to put them, to put them yeah. on the match rod. So I decided uh, to throw them with the hand. Yeah. And um, I throw uh, 20 pieces of very big... Yeah. Um, With much bait in that? Not live much, bait? Not much live bait. No. Only 125 dead white maggots, yeah, yeah. 125 uh, caster, and uh, maybe 50 milliliters of joker. Yeah, not a lot. Not, a lot, not a lot. And only some cutted uh, earthworms. Yeah, how many liters of ground bait would that be? Exactly five. Five liters yeah. of ground bait. Fa but but may maybe, obviously, your idea was to make a lot of noise at the start with the bigger yeah. balls to draw yeah. the fish. And I think this is pro possibly where the England team has fell down, especially with yesterday. I think we fed too little at the start and yeah. obviously it was something you sorted out in practice. Yeah, maybe, but um, I did uh, these 20 boards at the start and after... All the, the team did the same, yes. Yeah, and yeah. after these 20 boards I fed it um, 12 boards on my pole, but pole fishing was not necessary at this weekend, I think. Yeah, yeah. And after pole feeding I feed it with my catapult um, between 10 and 15 balls at the end of the 10 minutes um, feeding time. Ah, so you threw 20 balls yeah. but then also catapulted yeah. over the top another, yeah. another but, amount. But really, really heavy ones, so 50-50 mix and really pressed. 50-50 and... mix with soil and ground? Yeah, 50-50. Right. Soil from the field here, Right. right yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, and that's it. So just make a lot of noise at the start to yep. draw the fish, and then yep. have you topped up quite regularly yep. during the day also? Because we thought uh, that these catfishes are full of uh, baits and full of ground bait, and that they are very sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, we only did that noise because we thought uh, that would be good. Yeah, so you wanted to draw the fish yep. at the start. I think this this is probably one mistake that we've made, not being aggressive enough at the start. And then feeding feeding after, then quite regularly? Or yeah. did, did you feed all your ground bait, 20 litres over no. the period? I no? feed it 5 litres on match rod and between 2 and 3 litres on pole. Yeah. So around 8 litres for the beginning and um, maybe I feed it between 6 and 7 litres. Yeah, yeah. D during the competition time. During the competition. Yeah. Right. Not what, all. What, what did you find good as hook baits? Mm, sorry? For the hook? Uh, for the hook, uh, best bait was uh, two earthworms. Yeah, yeah. Not, so, not so big. Yeah, small. Uh, small middle, middle ones. Yeah, yeah. Middle, maybe four centimeters. Yeah. Was so, perfect. So, so really, you've not had anything uh, extra special or anything. Just fished very, very well. Made a lot of noise at the start mm. to draw the fish. Yeah. To, to dominate yeah. the area. Not so many live fed. baits. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not yeah, so many good. live baits. That's all. Very good. Yeah. O often you find that, you know, the winning tactics are quite simple. I mean, last time we, we did win here as an England team mm -hmm. and we fished it just with the soil. Okay. And it was something we sorted out in practice. Mm -hmm. Again, very simple. Mm -hmm. So it's not always a complicated method that wins. It's just, you know, a team that gets the feeding right at the start. And obviously I think your team has, has fished very well. Yeah, maybe. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. Well done, well done. Thank you.